We got Nelson, Teresa's dad, on. I'm reading his bio, and there's something I've seen here that's jumped out at me. He lives in Phoenix, but he refuses to use air conditioning. No, he's very thrifty. Yeah. Yeah. Nelson? Yes. How do you get through a Phoenix summer without air conditioning? Well, this year, I, I had to... I had to compromise. I, I was waking up at night because I was in sweat. So I have to run my air conditioner in my bedroom at night. Otherwise, I can't sleep. So you run the, so the unit no longer, in your bedroom. I'm no longer pure. Oh, you're impure. <laughs> Is it all financial or do you think you're sweating out toxins and impurities during your REM? No, we, you know, I, it, well, it, it's sort of both. Maybe, maybe it's a rationalization of not having any money that I'm that I'm environmentally conscious. But I haven't had a car for three years. I just ride a bicycle, which I've got almost ten thousand miles on my bicycle now. That's and healthy. Use, yeah, my I, washing machine. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, my dad, that Making It Home is about one single season of Little League that I watched with my dad after my brother died. And my dad went to all of those games on his bicycle. And it's frequently 112, 115, 117. My dad just rides his bike. In Phoenix? Yep. Wow. And how long's the ride to the Little League field? Three. Oh, to, to the field, it's about five miles. Wow. That's brutal. All right. So uh, the book, um, was it tough to read because there were things in there that weren't flattering toward you? Yeah, I definitely had my covers pulled. Teresa asked me, she said, Dad, there's some things in the book that are not flattering. And I said, I don't stand in the way of art. Go for it. Wow. So, um, is, is, and, you know, well, let me again. It may be a rationalization, but I feel like I'm not the same person now that I was then. Yeah, I had a similar situation. I had a stepmom that wasn't a big fan of my sister, hmm. and um, my sister ended up running away to, at a young age. But at some point, I think I felt like it was sort of incumbent upon my dad to intervene and possibly have a discussion with his wife about alienating his daughter which my dad never had. Uh, yeah, that, that's how I felt. And there's a scene in the book, um, our, our relationship, I, I, didn't, I never saw her again after, um, after she accused me of stealing a piece of her jewelry. And then she told my dad to look through my purse because that jewelry was in there. I knew it wasn't there, but my dad was in an uncomfortable position. And I thought at that time he should have said, you can't accuse my daughter of stealing your shit. She didn't do it. So I was angry at him. When I was much younger, she threw a lamp in my head and it missed. It hit the door. And my dad turned to her and it was like an action movie. I'll never forget because it was one of the happiest moments of my childhood. And he said, you better be out of here by the time we get home. And I thought, that's it. The Wicked Witch is dead. I'm never going to see her again. She went too far. She threw something at me. But when we got home, we went to the movies. And I remember sitting in the movie just so happy, eating my jujubes, <laughs> and thinking, like, she's gone. Like, he's finally stood up for me. And then when we got home, you know, the lamp was swept up, and that no one spoke of it again. What was the movie? God, I should re- Do you remember the movie, Dad? I, I don't remember the movie. I think, did, did you just say how old were you, Adam? How old am no, I? No, he asked what was the movie. Oh, what was the movie? No, I don't remember. Well, I, I hardly remember what I had for breakfast. To be fair to Nelson, the lamp had a 110-watt bulb, which was really an energy burner. <laughs> and so if he could get one more thing off the grid, is one more nickel Nelson would have in his pocket at the end of the, at the, end of the month. And well, so that could be it. The lamp was on a short leash because it was plugged into the wall, so that brought it to a short stop. And oh, she didn't even it. unplug it. What kind of maniac throws a lamp at so It's like throwing a surfboard at somebody yeah. when it's still know, on your leash. It. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I knew she was a bad person, not throwing the lamp at your daughter. <laughs> but, Nelson, I, I'm sure you wish you would intervene more on Teresa's behalf back in the day, yes? Yeah, yes. Yeah. And, and it's nice that even though all these years have passed and there's been some feelings that you two could reunite under and, 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 and enjoy this mutual joy of, of baseball. You know, you know, one thing 
I have to add is that we were we were never alienated. Like we were, we were always in touch. It wasn't like we we were in, not in communication. Yeah, I I went to visit her even when she was in New York on TV. I I, I listened to it. I paid a few dollars extra to the cable company, and I, and I listened to her show, the news show every every day, every weekday. So. Oh, that's see, true. That's a that's more than my parents did. So no, yeah, nobody he, had cable. In my that family. was back when he was still a mechanic, and he paid extra. I was on Good Day New York, and he would ha- you know get up at was that like three a.m. or four a.m. to to watch. So yeah, it was like it was like five. It was before work, so it was probably about five o'clock. We were close, but there were resentments that would sometimes boil. Yeah, boil sometimes over. Sometimes boil over. All right, uh, we want to let your, speaking of news, we want to let your beautiful daughter take a pass at the news here. So we're going to uh, bid you adieu, Nelson, but thank you for chiming in and Wait, being a part Wait, before we this. let him go, because I, I think you will enjoy this, Dad, quickly, can you explain um, how you feel about Biden, Trump, and RFK? Go. I, well, I think there's only one party. It's the war party. And as a Republican wing and a Democratic wing, and it doesn't matter who you have in there. The foreign policy stays the same. It's been the Wolfowitz doctors since Wolfowitz. Hey, before you guys turn me off, can I can I say a quick uh, can I relate a quick story about your ten year old son who oh. has a really good sense of humor, like his mom? Okay, sure. So a couple mu- a couple months ago, Adam, little Andrew said to me, "Grandpa, do you still have sex?" And I said, "No." And he said, were you any good at it? <laughs> that is funny. Yeah, I mean, the price of condoms is <laughs> astronomical, and especially Adam, in the Phoenix area. One other thing, Adam. Yeah. Well, you can't get laid Adam if you don't have air conditioning. Yeah. best radio ever. What's those, that? Those were unforgettable moments, like the fight between Danny Bonaducci and Sugar Ray Leonard. I mean, and the bitch bag episodes, which I played for my girlfriend so she'd know what your show is about. So that's, I still talk to people who listen to that show and consider it the best show ever. Well, thanks, Nelson. I I appreciate it. All right, you guys. Take care. Bye, Dad. Love you. There's a different episode. My my parents mer- mirrored many of the other your parents of of that time, which is the movement has completely changed. It's all about the kids. It's what can you do for the kids? How can you help the kids and everything else? And back then kids were kind of, you were along for the ride. Yeah, you were lucky to be a, there. You're like a roommate who didn't pay rent and got into their food. And it was, there was not the appreciation that they have a reverence that they have today. No, and I will say, and I think a lot of, parents could probably relate to this. And since it's a baseball themed book, let's take the example of Tommy Lasorda. I think he was a pitcher. I don't think he was that great. When he became a manager, he was great. A lot of people maybe weren't great parents. When they become grandparents, they excel at that. Yeah, my parents didn't make that transition (laughs) smoothly, (laughs) but they stuck to their guns. You know what I mean? They're consistent. They were on brand. Yes. All right.